this tutorial will be the last one of its kind in the JDA 3 series. For more information about that, watch this video till the end as I will explain that. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey it's me, Dinsaldustry and welcome back to another Manudox tutorial. Today we are going to upgrade our bot to JDA version 4. As JDA version 4 is currently in beta and it's stable enough to use. And also all the libraries have updated. So, first off, we're gonna go over to Discord. And in your case it will be in the Manudox Discord bot commands channel. But we're gonna type J, explanation mark, versions. And as you can see, we have a lot of versions here. We have the latest JDA 3 version, and we also have the latest JDA beta version. These three versions over here are the ones we care about. JDA beta, lava player, and JDA utilities. So let's open our build file and start upgrading these libraries. Let's see. Oh, we're, we're three versions out of this for JDA. Whatever. So let's copy this and paste it on for JDA. Let's copy JDA utilities and place it on the JDA utilities one. And let's copy lava player because it's good to always stay updated with lava player. Because YouTube likes to break stuff. Let's update it. And last but not least, bot comments, which I have right over here. And bot comments has two versions, the normal version and the JDA4 version. We care about the latest JDA4 version, which is JDA4 1.0.39. So we're going to paste that for bot comments. And then we're going to hit import changes and wait until it's done. Okay, now that everything's updated, we can go to the official JDA server or gold. And over here, you see uh, the JDA4 changes one. The first one that we care about is the creation of jda.api and jda.internal so basically what we want to, want to do for that is copy jda.core and go to a find and replace all jda.core will be replaced with jda.api and replace all replace and we need to do the same thing for jda.bot so jda.bot replace all next up we're going to our main class where the config has broken but that's okay uh, first off we need to change set gaming to set activity and this will be activity dot streaming instead of game dot streaming so let's remove the import of game and remove all these users imports as well uh, config seems as broken as well so let's see why that is Ah, yes. Orc.json got removed from JDA. And we can just insert that in our build file. Uh, I'm going to change this to implementation and import. And now you see that our config is fixed as well. Um, next up, I'm just going to hit the uh, build button and see what errors pop up. So a lot of errors are going to pop up and we're going to fix them one by one. Okay. First one, the times one. So get creation time has been renamed to get time created. The next one is the as bot. That's uh, removed in JDA. Here are some null pointer exceptions. Th these these are fine. Here as well, get time created. The ping is different. Basically, this has been replaced with get uh, gateway ping. What you also can do is event dot get jda dot get rest ping, which is a rest action, but uh, that's something you can dive into yourself. 
the getters for a rest action have been have been uh, replaced with retrieves. So ban list has been now retrieve ban list. The gold controller has been removed, so that's just gold unban now. Same thing here for the kick. It's just all on the gold now. The audio player scent handler is also different. Um, this one uses a bite buffer now. So, bite buffer, and we just do bite buffer dot wrap for the data. There we go. And this now the audio center has been fixed. Here you go. Get time created. Get time joined. Uh, and as you can see, JDA has now uh, nullable annotations in V4, but color accepts a nullable parameter. So I don't know why you're complaining about that. And we have another get controller here. Can remove. Let's see if that was it. Should be it. And there we go. Now we can just start our bot and use it again on JDA version 4. So if we go to our channel and we type uh, evil JDA info dot version. You can see that we are currently on JDA version beta 0.37. It is very important that if you are using V4 to keep updating it. But other than that, we now have successfully upgraded the bot to JDA version 4. And now all that is left to do is give you the special announcement from the beginning. Because like I said already, the JDA version 3 series will end because JDA version 3 is end of life. As replacement for that, I will start up a JDA version 4 series from the ground. Uh, we will go through the same steps as we did on JDA version 3. And we'll probably do even more because JDA version 4 is going to be supported for a long time. So for the last time in this tutorial series, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you guys next time with the first JDA version 4 tutorial. Which is also linked in a card that you have seen pop up. Bye.